Hello everyone, and welcome to another video on the Eclipse series. Today, we will give a brief overview of the Eddington experiment and how it confirmed one of Einstein's theories of general relativity. Let us begin. Sir Arthur Eddington was an English astronomer, physicist, and mathematician who was known for the Eddington limit, the Eddington experiment, and predicting nuclear fusion in stars. The Eddington limit determines the intrinsic upper limit of a star's brightness. The Eddington experiment set out to prove one of Einstein's ideas within general relativity. The experiment was meant to determine if the sun's gravity was able to bend starlight which passed close to the sun. To carry out this observational experiment, Frank Watson Dyson and Sir Arthur Eddington separated onto two expeditions to observe the total eclipse of May 29, 1919. Sir Arthur Eddington set off to the island of Principe off the west coast of Africa, while Frank Dyson went to the Brazilian town of Sombran. The path of the moon's shadow for the May 29, 1919 solar eclipse is shown on screen. Arthur Eddington's expedition would be located approximately at the location indicated by the greatest eclipse, or the red star that appears on the globe. Sir Arthur Eddington took multiple images of stars during the eclipse, which were in the sun's immediate area. If Einstein's theory was correct, the light of these stars, when it passed near the sun, would bend due to the gravitational field of the sun. In essence, the position that a star would appear to have to an observer would be different than the actual location of the star. He published his results the following year and confirmed Einstein's theory. Thanks for watching. On a following video, we will continue to explore how eclipses have been interpreted through different cultures. Until next time.